Well, if you're anything like me and you think you've got the problem figured out, Honda goes and throws a curveball at you. This thing acted like the fuel pump was going out. So I went ahead and ordered a fuel pump for it. Put the new fuel pump in, started up, drove it. And I came back, shut it back off, come back outside, start it again, and it was right back to the same thing. Keep cranking, no start. So, to save people time, that's the fuel pump kicking off. You've got fuel, spark, but you're not getting any fuel into the cylinders. Don't instantly think it is your ECU or your fuel pump. It's most commonly a really cheap part. Just go out and unplug your temp sensor. I've said before that my temp gauge would work sporadically, and I thought it was just the sensor itself reading that, but apparently it works for the fuel system. If it reads cold, it puts it into flood mode where it will not open up the injectors at all. That's why it ran fine when it was running, but as soon as you'd shut it off, it would not start again because it would read that it's in flood mode and it would not let the injectors fire. And it just crank and crank. You was getting your fuel, you was getting your spark, and you was getting air, and I had compression and timing. And I went out and spent, thankfully, it was only $150 since I got it through the shop. Spent too much money on it, being a part that didn't need to be replaced. So yeah, a $5 part. If you've got cranking and no starting, check your temp sensor. It's the most common problem with these Hondas. Thank you. 